Welcome to episode five. Today we went over in training attacking organization in the attacking third. And what I wanted to do was stimulate some ideas for the players. What kind of movements with the front four can we do in the attacking third? Obviously these movements fit straight into our game model. And unfortunately I was only put on video maybe two movements while on the other side of the field there was Coach Jay was doing another two movement patterns on the other goal and then we rotated every 15 minutes so the players would rotate and learn two more patterns. Now the idea of attacking patterns in the, uh, it is I'm not looking for the players to go out and execute these patterns exactly in, in, in the game, but the general ideas of these patterns should be eventually taken into consideration by the players and they have absolute freedom in the attacking third because this is an ever-changing dynamic game. It's hard in training to show the unpredictability of the game and to simulate, simulate that in training. So the players do have, once we get into the attacking third, they do have absolute freedom to create, but I feel that it's constructive to simulate five or six different patterns that they can at least draw parts of when they're in the actual game. So we started off with, with a nice simple warm up with the Barcelona star. We worked up to three balls in the Barcelona star. We put in some fitness, uh, I'm sorry, put in some speed ladders to go in, to coincide with that warm up. And then we went straight into pattern play. And then we ended with a, um, a, team, competition, a team competition. During the whole thing, the goalkeepers were training separately outside. And we even had one group with uh, players maybe doing some technical work, technical physical work in a side group that you weren't able to see on the video. So the guys told me that their legs were a little bit tired. So that's another reason why it was a little bit less of a workload today, actually a lot less of a workload today. And then we will jump back into medium to higher intensity training for our next session. Here's the training session that we did. Uh, I varied it a little bit. We started off with the Barcelona star three ball drill. It's two touches. It should be inside of the foot, inside of the foot. Very difficult to keep three of these balls going at one time. We started with two, we built up for, to three. We did some combination variations in this star. This is our actual, our last progression here. And in between, we did it for about two minutes. And then we go to the speed ladders and then we go back to the Barcelona star. Again, this was part of a, a, a longer warm up because again, the guy said that they're, they're their legs were a little bit sore, so we wanted to give them a thorough warm up before we got into pattern play. Now we get into pattern play. You could see ball over the top to the winger who runs in. Here we have playing into a front four, striker lays off to a defensive center mid, plays to the winger, drives in, plays again off the striker. We're trying to drive the end line, plays off the striker, the winger as he drives in, end line, play the ball back on the, on the ground to finish. And here we end um, with a team competition, a finishing competition, which is three teams. Whoever scores stays on, first team to six is the winner. This is, this is a, the kids love this game. This is a highly competitive game. Whoever scores stays on as you see the next team switches in and the team that scored on goes out to be the outside neutral players. Great for the goalkeepers as well. The goalkeepers had a goalkeeping training session during the pattern play and the warm up, and now they get a chance to put their shot stopping into action. I'm just gonna let this roll here for another minute so you can get a good idea of really what this looks like. And tomorrow will be our first defensive game model training. And hopefully the weather looks like it might be a little bad, so maybe we have to adjust on the fly and go to futsal if the weather is really bad. But I expect that we'll be outside tomorrow for a defensive game model. We have a game coming up. I believe, yes, I believe we're gonna be outside 
with a game on Saturday in about four days. And we do have about five more players reporting to camp tonight and tomorrow. So we'll have actually a full squad by Thursday's training with a game on Saturday. 